how to remember branches of maxillary nerve. Lizzie. I will help you out. First we'll go to cafe to have some good coffee. Cafe equals cranial fossa. Branch given off in the cranial fossa middle is meningeal branch supplying duramater. Is it the first branch of maxillary nerve? Wow! Thoughts great. Okay Lissy, I need to go to post office to post a letter. Okay we'll join. Post office equals to regrapalatine fossa. Branches given here are one. Ganglionic branches not only suspends the sphenopalatine ganglion, but also gives off other branches like orbital, nasal, palatine, pharyngeal branches and carries sensation from the concerned areas. 2. Zygomatic branches that further gives off zygomaticofacial and zygomaticotemporal branch carrying sensations from the respective regions along with secretomotor fibers to lacrimal gland. 3. Posterior superior alveolar branch carrying sensation from all upper molars except mesiobuccal root of first molar. Hope you understood Lissy. Yeah. Very much. Go ahead with other branches please. We now enter the green room. Remember here G equals groove, infraorbital groove. Here maxillary nerve gives of two branches namely middle superior alveolar and interior superior alveolar branches carrying sensation from premolars and the interior teeth along with mesiobuccal root of first molar tooth. Well. Hmm. Finally maxillary nerve terminates on face by giving three terminal branches. They are inferior palpebral branch carrying sensation from lower eyelid, external nasal from outer surface of nose, and superior labial branch from the upper lip. Wow! It's very simple now. Perfectly understood. Thank you Jesse for your great help in making me understand branches and distribution of maxillary nerve.